Let's talk about how to use the signal send and signal receive objects in the multimedia logic program. So we start off with a simple explanation of what are those objects. I'm going to draw an output device and the output device is the signal center. There it is. Bam! Right there. Draw an input device and signal receiver. Bam! There it is. So this is what we're going to be finding out how to use. Notice there's a triangular point here and a triangular catcher here. This guy is going to send signals to this guy. Whatever he receives he gives to this guy. Yes? That's it. That's how simple it is. Alright. Practically, what does that all mean? Alright. Let's find out. Let's build a little circuit and see how it works. I'm going to go to draw and I want to have an LED. I want to also draw a control device. Let's say an end gate. Right there. And now what I need are is a switch here and here. Okay, good. Uh, let's go to selector. Normally we would set this up as follows. We would have our guys connected like this and like this and like this. Oh, like so. And so we have an AND gate here, two switches here, and a uh, LED here. Simulate this, run, and I turn this on, nothing. I turn this switch on, bam. Two inputs with a positive one on the input ends. I said that bad. An AND gate with two ones on both inputs emits a one on the output, which goes directly to the LED. And the LED lights up. That's what we have so far. Simulate stop. Now, I'm going to delete Mr. LED. And let me see if I can move this over just a little bit. Sure can. All right. And let me see if I can also move this guy up just a tad. That's nice. Now, draw an output device called a signal sender. And I'm going to put him right there. Draw. Selector. Now, I'm going to draw a wire. I'm going to connect the two of these. Just like that. Draw a selector. Now I'm going to double click on this signal sender. Double click on him. This window pops up. I'm going to put a name on this guy. I'm going to put the name SN. It's case sensitive. i got to be careful. So I'll put it in lowercase. Send 7. That's a nice name. Send 7. Let me see if I can help you to see that a little bit better. There it is. Send 7. Good? Good. Now, click on OK. Send 7 now pops up on the face of the signal sender. That's the name of this device. Huh. And that's the sending device. So, when I turn this guy on, he'll send the one here turn this guy on, he'll send the one here. This is an AND gate. It will send an, I'll put a one on the output, which will get sent to the SEND7 signal sender, which I named SEND7. I could have named it anything. I want this guy to
to send that one output to a signal receiver. Let's go get one. Draw, input device, signal receiver. Click here. So, you can see by this triangle and this triangle, these two fit together. The problem is, they're not connected yet. How are they not connected yet? Well, let's see. I double click on the signal receiver, double click, and the name of this guy is none. Ah, what's the name of the device I want this signal receiver to receive signals from? That's right, send seven. The receiver is going to receive signals from SEND7. Click on OK. Now they are connected. Not by wire, but logically they are connected. Now, oh. I need an LED. Draw, output device, LED, bam. Draw, wire, connect them up. Done. Simulate. Run. I click on switch one and I turn it on. Nothing. I need the other because this is an AND gate. I turn on the other switch. It's going to send a one over here. A one and a one will put an output, output of one on the output. Put a one on the output. That one will get sent to send seven. Send seven will logically connect that to send seven receiver. A one will appear on its output, and this LED will light up. Here we go. Bam, it worked. What's the advantage of this? You can have now using these, these signal senders and signal receivers a very, very large diagram encompassing a schematic encompassing multiple pages without and, and it's intelligible without having wires all over the place oh. okay I got gotcha. you so simulate stop that's how you use the signal center and the signal receiver. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and so long from Gary D777, also known as Hoboken Gare.